If business is looking at the fact that today they face a dual crisis, they face the crisis of high energy prices and the imperative to face up to the climate challenge, the thing that I think most businesses, progressive businesses, have, have cottoned on to is that there are real strategies, that are long-term strategies that can deal with both of these things, that are win-wins. So investing in renewables, it, the, you know, in renewables are low cost, they, are, they provide energy security, um, they are a growing business opportunity, and investing in energy efficiency, kind of minimising the footprint that you have to rely on energy. Those are great things that many businesses can do and that many economies can do that shifts us away from the situation where we're at the moment, where we're at the mercy of volatile fossil fuel prices and a volatile international situation. In order for the EU to address uh, the multiple crises that we are uh, witnessing uh, today and for several years, we need both short-term and longer-term measures. Short-term to help uh, citizens, but also SMEs, to pay the um, energy bills, but also while we continue investing in energy efficiency and reducing our dependency on fossil fuels, which is not good for our health, not for our pockets and not for the planet. Ball Corporation is very much a circularity company. And the reason that's so important is because a recycled aluminum can uses 95% electricity and energy as an aluminum can made of virgin material. Um, so really the circularity story is so critical when you think about that. You can go from, you know, 100 to a 5% usage. Wanting to tackle both the climate and the energy crisis, buildings are just at the absolute centre of that because they're responsible for about 40% of the overall energy use and about 36% of emissions. So if we don't tackle our building stock, uh, and by that I mean mainly the existing building stock, then there is no way that we're going to hit our targets. So what we need to do is to look at all facets um, of a building. We need to have the energy efficiency first approach because at the end of the day, the energy we don't need is also going to be the greenest and the cheapest and the one we don't need to source from anywhere.